Hello Providence hockey fans, welcome to This Week in Friars Hockey. I'm Nick Rojas. It was a tough weekend here at Schneider Arena with the Friars tying against Colgate before dropping one against Boston College. This weekend they look to right the ship against Boston University in a home and home series. On today's edition of the show, Coach Lehman joins us to talk about the rise of Tice Thompson and previews the matchup with the Terriers. This Week in Friars Hockey starts right now. We're joined now, as we are every week, with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Lehman. Coach, after this past weekend, what were your overall takeaways? Well, uh, we got to keep getting better. You know, I, I didn't think we played great hockey this weekend, um, but I thought uh, our practices the previous two weeks were leading up to this. I thought, um, you know, we're a young group and we've let some success get to our heads a little bit, and I don't think we were practicing with a purpose. So um, sometimes, as a coach, you see it coming a little bit. You try to you try to intervene, but um, you know, it was we, we've gotten back to hard practices and um, gotten back to practicing with a purpose, and uh, and the focus been much better this week. Talk about focus. The focus this week is just going to be on Boston University. How much does it help to have the focus be on just one opponent? It helps a lot, especially with a young group. It helps a lot. Um, you know, just because there's there's uh, a lot less adjustments. I mean, we're you know we've talked about that as a staff too. Are we just are we just trying to uh, overload this group with too much information um, and just simplifying it even more um, with this group because they're young and um, and just have them focus on playing in the now and and not going out and thinking. We had Jack Dugan on recently. Tice Thompson right behind him in terms of scoring in the nation. How has Tice stepped up this season? Well, I mean, he had a great second half last year. Um, and, you know, he was a little hidden. Again, another player that was a little hidden. But, you know, he stepped up. I mean, you know, with, with the opportunity Princey and Jack and, and Tice are getting, even Parker Ford and Moyney, um, they're all producing in those. So that's great for us, you know. But the, the, the challenge is that it's going to get harder. It's going to continue to get harder. Teams get better at playing defense as the season goes on. And we have to make sure that we're, we're continuing to, you know, um, attack the way we want to attack uh, in order for us to, to be successful. And now, Coach, going into the season, you knew you were going to have a young team. As coach of this team, how do you approach not getting the guys too high or too low after a weekend? Um, you know, I mean, it's really our mentality as coaches is that it's, it's all part of the process. Whether we're winning or losing, it's, it's about getting better each day. And, um, and that's been the focus of we're good. We can't control the, the scoreboard all the time, but we can control our effort. We can control, you know, how we're approaching the details of the game. And, and that's what we want to do. And that's, that's kind of been our approach. All right, coach. Thank you for your time. Good luck this weekend. I'm Patrick Moynihan, I'm a freshman, and I'm from Millis, Massachusetts. So my favorite dessert's probably ice cream. I'm not a big candy guy or a cake guy, I kind of always love uh, eating ice cream. Not really a great reason for it. Uh, I've never really been a single digit before, and um, it's kind of intriguing number I wanted to wear, so I'm happy to wear it. Last movie I watched was actually The Joker, so it's a pretty, pretty new movie. Um, kind of weird, I don't really know how I felt about it, but um, it was a good movie. Uh, definitely, definitely weird though. The kind of guys in the NHL or in college, I kind of role models for me and how to kind of put the work in every day and kind of aspire to be like those guys. Um, my coach, coaches since I was younger always helped me too, so um, just always kind of wanted to get better since I was younger. I'd probably say golf. I golf a lot with my friends over the summer. Um, it's kind of it's a lot more relaxing than hockey. It kind of takes the intensity off and it's kind of a great thing to do with your friends. Best score? Um, I'd probably say nine holes, around like 42 or something. Not too shabby, but um, it's fun. Um, just the community here and the culture we have here, it's, it's amazing. Um, the coaching staff and just the team in general. Um, it's almost kind of like a brotherhood in the locker room and it's, it's awesome to be around the guys.
me a second for that. <laughs> That's great. All right, you guys are good on that. How many did we agree on? <laughs> yeah. For a breakdown on the matchup with the Terriers, we sent it over to Mike DeMars. Mike? Thanks, Nick. This weekend, the Friars will play a home and home series with the Boston University Terriers, starting Friday in Boston and heading back to Schneider Arena on Saturday. The Terriers are 2-2-3 two, two, on the season and 1-1-2 one, one, and two in hockey ease play. Last weekend, they lost the first game of a series at Maine and tied the Black Bears in the second game. If you're on the Terriers and your first name is Patrick, well, you are tied for the team leading points. Seniors Patrick Curry and Patrick Harper have both tallied nine points for BU. Curry has seven goals and two assists, while Harper has four goals and five assists. Between the pipes for the Terriers will be Sam Tucker. A graduate transfer from Yale, Tucker has a 2.42 goals against average and a 901 save percentage. Last season, the Friars played the Terriers three times, coming away with a win, a loss, and a draw. That's your weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thanks, Mike. That'll just about wrap up today's edition of the show. A big thank you, as always, to our guest, Coach Lehman, for joining us. Friday night's game is up at Aganis Arena. That one starts at 7.30 p.m., while Saturday night's game is right here at Schneider Arena. Tickets start for only $25, and it's Military Appreciation Night. If you can't make it out, you can watch the game on Nesson, and you can listen to both games on the radio on 104.7 FM News Radio. For all the posts, pictures, updates, and more, Follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and head over to Friars.com. Thank you so much for watching this week in Friars Hockey. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.